Hello, I'm Clint Smith. And this is Miss Susie Huntington. We're here at Thunder Ranch. So we're working on tripods and not only the kind that she may shoot off because she's going to take her sticks, but they're making her a tripod also. So there's certain things you already remember the safety stuff. We covered that before. We treat the gun like it's loaded. Don't point the muzzle at anything. Finger off the trigger and be sure of your target back stop. We got that part here on the tripod. If you look at them, what you're trying to do is, is this a pretty good deal? They walk and have them kind of set up. And then the idea is, is that they'll set it in place once they find the animal that we're kind of looking for. Generally speaking, because you'll have good guides and stuff, you want to basically set the, they'll set it so that the animal's probably in this V, so that's where I'd look first. I mean, they're not going to set the stick and have the boob be over there, so someplace in that plane where you're going, be good to go. Then go ahead and you can set it in there. Once it gets here, okay, like we talked about before, you can do whatever you want as far as technique. Some people abrace the, uh, the, uh, the uh, sticks a little bit more and some people don't. But in the tripod, what happens a lot of times is people stack their feet behind it, so then you have the tripod here and then it's almost like a bipod there. Well, what you and I are looking for, okay, is to get it so that we have it in this application, okay? And then if you put your feet that way, this would be your contact point for one leg of the tripod, then your feet make the other two. And then, so we have two tripods, the tripod holding the rifle and the tripod, which is the gun platform, which is you. Don't be bashful about leaning into the thing a little bit, not to necessarily stun the, you know, stunt the, the, the recoil. At the same time, it's be helpful if we have to run the gun, the bolt gun again and again. And of course, on your 375, it'll be good because there will be a little bit more juice on the gun when it goes off that way. Here, I got no problem with you holding it. We talked about it before. The only thing I said is remember, it's a lot like a pistol. Don't pre-ignition push it. Don't like jab it with their completely separate entity. Here's how I'm holding. And this is how I'm pressing the trigger. So that's how I'm holding the rifle, okay? And then when you get ready, this is like the bulb on that eyedropper, you press it carefully, and then cycle your bolt forward, down, good. And remember, no matter what else happens, when the gun goes off, it's empty, run the freaking bolt and get back at them. Plan on shooting every round you brought to Africa, and we'll do it basically all at one time if we have to. I'll bet you five bucks we can find more ammo. And close it, good. Uh, let's do something real simple in the beginning. Just work on the 50 yard plate, which is the one right here on the right of the road at the bottom of the hill, so to speak, okay? Good, on the bolt, good. Nice, okay? Great, good, run the bolt, good. And your mind's out, good, run the bolt smooth, good, shut it, great. And then one more time, good, great. That all worked out pretty well. Put your hand there as well. Here. And now, if it's too low, you actually just move forward and you, you push the sticks to the right height that you want to be. Okay. Then, when you want to shoot, mm -hmm. pull the rifle into your shoulder. You actually, you, you, you lean into to the stick. Right. Okay. And you pull the stick towards you. Interesting. You find that you're more comfortable then. Right. So it gives you a nice solid rest. Yeah. Uh, just whip one of these out. So I put my knee on the ground or do I actually? Yeah, you can put your knee on the ground. All right. It's still okay. The hunter can just tell me if, if I might have to go up or down. Up. Please. Right. Perfect. Put my one finger in my ear so I don't get the muzzle blast. Right. It's much easier than trying to, you know, shoot off your knee or something. Right. The other time, if, if, if we don't have a stick and we come across something very quick, yes. You know, I go down and shoot off my shoulder. It, it's not as steady, but it's it's better than often. You know, yeah, it's better than wobbling for a little while. Well, that's right. You're breathing. The other way, I have to show this to you. If, if you happen to be my guide. Right. I'll get you to stand sideways. I, what I do is I grab hold of the guide or the pH, grab hold of your shirt, to the height I want to be, lay it down, and then just aim. Get him to put his fingers in his ears. 
I mean, these aren't as bad, but a muzzle brake, you'll, you'll know all about it. You know, the bipods are e easy to carry. They're short, they're light. Uh, what a hunter normally does, he establishes the height he shoots from. Some of them have numbers. You set it, screw it up. All right, Get set down. the rifle. Comfortable tripod as well, and the rifle. At a slight angle towards him, so when he leans into it, he's not off balance. If you're not still too steady, mm -hmm. you, you get your, your guide or your... You can, it acts now acts as a three-point anchor. 